Title. The Keeper of Secrets. In the quiet corners of a small town, nestled between overgrown oaks and dilapidated buildings, was a nondescript facility known simply as the SCP Foundation. Few in the surrounding areas knew of its existence, and those who did spoke of it in hushed whispers, an elusive organization reputed to study the supernatural and the bizarre. Most believed the rumors were fiction, but that didn't deter Chloe. The 18-year-old was a thrill-seeker, and she decided to unravel the mysteries that lay behind its towering fences and barbed wire. One crisp autumn evening, a thrill of excitement coursed through her veins as she approached the facility, armed with only her camera and a flashlight. She scaled the barbed wire fence, excitement overtaking caution, and slipped into the shadows behind the concrete walls. In the distance, she could hear the distant hum of generators and the sounds of life inside. But there was an unnatural stillness beneath it all, an awareness that felt as though the walls themselves were watching her. Inside, the first thing she noticed was sterile silence, broken only by random clicks and whirs of machinery. The fluorescent lights flickered intermittently, casting eerie shadows that danced across the stark white walls. Her heart raced as she wandered down a long corridor, each step echoing through the empty halls. The smell of antiseptic clung in the air, a sharp reminder of where she was. Doors lined both sides of the hallway, and Chloe found herself drawn to an unmarked door at the very end. A curious impulse pushed her to turn the knob, which turned grudgingly, then swung open with a long, creaking moan. Inside, she was met with an expansive chamber, shrouded in darkness. At the center sat a pedestal, upon which lay a book bound in what appeared to be aged leather. The title, embossed in gold, read, The Keeper of Secrets. As she approached, an inexplicable weight settled in her chest. This wasn't just any book, it felt alive pulsing with secrets begging to be uncovered. A flicker of doubt crossed her mind, warning her to retreat, but curiosity pulled her closer. Without thinking, she reached for the book and opened it, her fingers trembling in anticipation. The pages flipped open without resistance, revealing sketches of strange creatures and entities, others humanoid, others nightmarish, sprawling across the pages like a macabre gallery. Each sketch was accompanied by cryptic notes and observations, SCP-001. The Gatekeeper, SCP-173. The Sculptor, and others whose numbers sent chills down her spine. It was a collection of horrors, a chronicle of everything the Foundation contained. Suddenly, the lights flickered above like a strobe, and Chloe felt a rush of cold air sweep through the chamber. The pages began to turn uncontrollably, and she realized she no longer had the power to close the book. Panic surged as shadowy figures seeped from the pages, floating toward her with dreadful intent. She knows, a voice whispered, chilling her to the bone. You shouldn't have opened it. Quote, in a frenzy, Chloe backed away, her heart pounding like a jackhammer. Shadows twisted and morphed, creating a swirl of confusion that trapped her. The fleeting silhouettes of strange creatures danced in her periphery, their eyes glinting with malevolence. She slammed the book shut in desperation, but it was too late, the Keeper had risen. The Keeper, once a mere ink sketch, now stood before her, a figure cloaked in darkness with luminous eyes that seemed to pierce through her soul. You have trespassed, seeker of truths, it said, its voice echoing like a thousand whispers. Now you must face the consequences. Quote, with adrenaline pouring through her, Chloe turned and fled, the howls of monstrous entities echoing in her ears. She raced down the hallway, each door she passed now appearing more like a mouth waiting to swallow her whole. The facility seemed to shift around her, corridors elongating, doors vanishing, an endless labyrinth designed to trap the curious. In a fit of determination, Chloe sprinted toward the exit, her heart pounding louder than ever. But the keeper would not let her go so easily. She felt it trailing her, wrapping her in a suffocating embrace of dread. It whispered her deepest fears, ensnaring her thoughts with the horrors etched in the Foundation's history. Just as she reached the door, the darkness enveloped her and she stumbled into the outside world, gasping for breath. The facility loomed behind her, silent once more, its secrets locked away again. She collapsed in the dirt, the night air cool against her flushed skin. From that day on, Chloe's life was forever altered. She returned to the town, but no longer felt its comfort. The keeper's words echoed in her mind, 
and the haunts of the Foundation lingered like a cursed shadow in her life. She had glimpsed the depths of the unknown, and the paralyzing knowledge that some secrets were never meant to be uncovered haunted her soul. Weeks later, she heard the slightest rustle at her window late at night, a reminder that the Keeper was always watching, and the Foundation's doors were forever opened and waiting, should any other soul dare to seek the terrible truths it held. 